Welcome back. I've got something really weird to review today. It's really cool and it's really interesting and I really like it, but it's not gonna be for everyone. So let's just get right into it. This is the Ibanez Q52PB. This guitar really takes me back to my days of being into headless guitars. I used to have a Strandberg and I distinctly remember bringing it home and my mom saying, so you've paid more money, but you get less guitar? Kind of yes, but also kind of no. Let's play a little bit and then we're gonna talk about it. Okay, there's a lot to talk about with this. Let's start with the obvious. It's got no headstock. The tuners are down here. It weighs nothing. I can't tell you, this is probably the lightest guitar I've ever felt. And it's not chambered. It's just very small and very light. Anyway, let's get into some details about this thing. We've got a poplar burl top and a Nyato body and the color is called Antique Brown Stained. It's a nice looking guitar. I quite like the sort of overall aesthetic of it. It's quite classy, I think. We've got a roasted bird's eye maple fretboard and we've got a three piece roasted maple and bubinga neck. And the profile is something they call a wizard C. This is an interesting neck to me. It's a really nice neck. The website describes it as not too thin, not too thick, kind of like a bit of everything. It's not a super thin shreddery kind of Ibanez neck. It's not a really fat baseball bat. It's just, it's just nice. It's just nice middle ground. Anyway. We got a 25 and a half inch scale. We've got a 305 millimeter radius, which is about 12 inches. Surprisingly, for how crazy it looks, this guitar feels, in neck wise at least, quite normal, but in a good way. Not like normal, like, ah, it's normal. Like normal as in everything's just how it should be. And it's comfortable. And I really like that. We've also got Jess Carr Evo Gold Jumbo Frets. They're gonna last forever. And we've got luminescent side dots as well. So you can see what you're doing, even if it's dark on stage. A quick note before I get any further, what we heard before was just on the bridge. And this thing has 10 different pickup configurations and I try to make short videos. So I'm not going through all of them. I'm just gonna pick a random one and we'll have some jams and see how we go. Okay, let's talk about the hardware a little bit. I mentioned before I used to have a Strandberg and I'm really glad I did because it gives me something to compare this to. First of all, we've got this nice solid chunk of metal here that your strings all go through and then there's little grub screws that just hold them in there. It's one solid piece, which I really like. Seems really stable, seems like it's really well attached and obviously if it's gonna be holding your strings in there, it, it better be. Down here, we've got this Ibanez design sort of single saddle bridge. Once again, I really, really like it. We've got a lot of space to adjust the intonation. The tuners turn really easily, which is something that I think some of these types of bridges struggle with a little bit. It's comfy under your hand as well, so I really don't have any complaints. Everything on this bridge is really nice and easy to adjust, and I really, really like that, because I think some of the headless bridge designs leave a little bit to be desired in terms of being user-friendly or not. One thing that I'm a little bit confused by is we've actually got two strap buttons on the back here, one on the front, obviously, but uh, I'm not sure why. Well, maybe you can get better angle or something if you put a strap down here, but it looks kind of weird, but I'm sure there's a purpose. But this video is sitting down, so I'm not gonna test it. Anyway, let's play a little bit more. I'm gonna keep flipping to random pickup positions and then we're gonna talk about the pickups after this jam because I have to talk about them. They're, they're really good. So that was a little bit on the neck and I want to give you an idea of some versatility because to me that's such a lovely neck pickup sound. So it's warm but it's clear, it's not muffled, it's not anything weird. Now I'm going to switch to the fourth position. You're going to hear that this guitar can do all kinds of different sounds and it's, it's just wild.
God, that high E just sings, eh? So good. Anyway, let's talk about the pickups. These are called Q58 pickups. They're made by Ibanez for this guitar. They're passive, they're ceramic. After the first time I played this, I immediately went on a hunt to see if I could track some of these down because they're really, really good. They're really cool. They sound like really good humbuckers, modern without being clinical, I guess is the way I'd like to describe them. And they're really, really clear. Really, really beautiful and transparent. Allegedly, they're designed for headless guitars. I honestly don't know exactly what that means, but they sound great. The other really cool thing about the electronics in this is we've got a five-way switch. I think I might have mentioned it before. So we've got five positions, your normal two humbuckers type business, but then we've also got this thing called a power tap, which gives you five more configurations. So you've got 10 different tones you can get just by switching pickups, and that's before you start playing with the volume and tone knobs, right? I don't normally do this, but look at this diagram. That's a lot of different tones you can choose from. To be honest, it's a bit much for me, but if I was sort of a really all over the place genre type session guy, this is such a do everything guitar. Really, it just does everything. It's really, really impressive. Definitely not one for everyone, but a really, really cool guitar. Thanks to Music Works Albany for lending me this guitar to talk about and have a little noodle on. At the time I post this, you can go check it out there. This one retails for $2,295 New Zealand. So if you think that's mad expensive, do the conversion for your own country. I, I can't do it. It's too much maths. Honestly, it's, it's a fantastic guitar. It's got tone for days. It weighs nothing. It's definitely gonna be a conversation starter. I can tell you that for absolute sure. If you think it might be a bit of you, go check it out. I'm gonna play a little bit more and I'll see you next time. Come on, how many pickups can you hold a note, hit two different harmonics, and you can hear them all clearly? That is ludicrous.